Hey guys, it's uh, another Thoughts from the Throne Room. I thought I'd do it outside here today, switch it up a little bit, uh, and uh, give a little disclaimer like I always do. Um, Thoughts from the Throne Room is intended to be uh, a window into my relationship with God. Um, it's not intended to be uh, a discussion of doctrine per se or theology per se. I'm just trying to push you guys uh, a little deeper into the Word, the living Word and the written Word, uh, and using my own uh, personal relationship with God uh, as a vehicle to do that, uh, being really honest and open and raw with it. So, uh, so let's get into it. So today, um, we're going to be talking about feelings. And I asked on Facebook earlier this week if you thought Christians should listen to their feelings, yes or no. Um, so, uh, when I was growing up in the church and still in the church a lot today, um, we're told a lot uh, not to listen to our feelings. Uh, and growing up like that, uh, I pushed a lot of things down. Uh, I ignored things. Uh, and I don't know if you've heard my testimony before. Um, uh, I lived in a, in a place of anxiety and fear uh, and honestly pretty much hopelessness as even a Christian. Uh, and sometimes uh, we do that because we don't understand who we are in Christ. So uh, anyway, uh, I just thought that's how uh, people lived. I didn't even realize that I was in anxiety, even though it was crazy. Uh, and I didn't even realize I was fearful. I actually became very prideful and thought that I didn't fear uh, anything when actually I feared everything. Um, but if I had paid attention to those things a little more and understood where they were coming from, uh, I think I might have uh, been able to uh, live out of a different place earlier uh, or sooner. So that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today. So I think Christians should listen to their feelings and, and here's why I think that. Um, feelings tell us uh, what nature we're living out of. So. Uh, when we talk, for example, about fear, we know that in perfect love, there is no fear. We also know that God is love. Um, so the way I look at feelings is that feelings show us where we're living, what nature we're living out of, whether we're living out of the sinful nature, the carnal nature, or we're living out of the, uh, the nature of the spirit, the redeemed nature, the new man. Um, for example, you know, um, Jesus tells the disciples that he's going to give them peace beyond understanding, that he's going to give them peace not like the world gives. And I don't know about you, but for me, peace is a feeling. Uh, pretty much it's the opposite of anxiety and fear. Um, joy is a feeling. Um, so the feelings that we have uh, are kind of the seed uh, that when full grown leads to the fruit of who we are. Um, Galatians talks about this. It's Galatians 5, uh, 19 through 25. I'll throw it up there for you. It talks about the deeds of, uh, uh, you know, the sinful nature, the deeds of the flesh, and the fruit of the Spirit. It talks about how there's uh, no law against the fruit of the Spirit, but we have to have law uh, against the deeds of the flesh. We all know that. So, um, I just wanted to talk to you guys about that a little bit. You know, we... Uh, we uh, really ridicule and condemn people that say, um, uh, like, you know, live, uh, live out of your heart or, you know, um, follow your heart. Uh, and um, I think that's actually a, a great thing to do. It's just where is your heart? Is your heart in uh, a place where you're living out of the sinful nature or is your heart in a place where you're living out of uh, your new man? Um, the problem is, you know, a lot of people like to quote that verse, you know, God will give you the desires of your heart. But I always say, you know, God will give you the desires of your heart when you ask Him what they are. Because you don't even know who you are, so you start living out of your new man. Uh, and when you're living out of your new man, you experience things like peace and joy, love, kindness, patience. And you experience all these things as feelings that move to thoughts and that become actions eventually. Um, and those actions bear fruit. Uh, for other people to enjoy, uh, to eat from, uh, and to manifest God's love in this world. You know, many of us, when we uh, come to Christ, we experience the fruit of the Spirit immediately. Uh, I know when I was growing up, we used to call it 
um, the joy of your salvation. I remember we called it, uh, and we experience, you know, uh, joy, peace, kindness, goodness. This stuff just starts coming out of us. Um, but the problem is that the whole way we've learned to live is out of our flesh. The whole way we've been trained to live uh, is out of our, fret, our flesh. You know, we were born into corruption. And so um, all of our habits and all of our training and all of our understanding, even as children, is how to live out of the flesh. Uh, and everything that we experience in life and how to deal with life um, teaches us how to deal with things, uh, the events of life, the circumstances of life, our feelings, everything else out of a carnal nature. Uh, many times we go back to living uh, that way um, just out of habit really, not understanding that we can stay in that joy, that we can stay in that peace, that we can stay in that love, that those things are, 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 are not only fruit that we bear, but they're seeds that, that start out inside of us. Uh, uh, as feelings you know we can we, we don't have to live in fear we can live in peace we don't have to live uh, in depression we can live in joy uh, so a lot of us uh, before we know it are uh, living a lifestyle of depression a lifestyle of anxiety and and we've totally shut ourselves down as far as living out of who we are in Christ in the spirit um, it's kind of like uh, I was listening to the radio today they're talking about how uh, after the Civil War, um, sometimes uh, there were slaves that would return uh, to their masters even though they were free. And I think a lot of us as Christians live that way. Um, not because uh, we don't want to live free, that's all we want to do is live free, but we don't know any other way to live. Um, so I just want to encourage you to listen to your feelings. You know, if you're feeling anxiety, if you're feeling fear, if you're living in depression, um, then you're not living out of who Christ is in you. Um, Holy Spirit uh, is not fearful. Holy Spirit does not have anxiety. And Holy Spirit is not depressed. Um, now, these things in and of themselves aren't wrong. It's not wrong for you to feel a certain way or the other. Um, but it does tell you where you're living and what you're living out of. Um, and, and like I said, I see those as um, they're seeds uh, in, in our tree. You know, we, we're either living in the tree of life or we're living in the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Uh, and, and that tree of knowledge and good and evil, uh, it, 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 it still exists. Even though we've been redeemed and we're living in the tree of life now, it still exists. And so those seeds that are feelings, you know, they, uh, they bloom into thoughts and they become actions. And before we know it, they're creating the reality and the circumstances that we live out of. So I just want to encourage you to check yourself uh, and, and listen to your feelings. And when you're feeling fearful uh, or when you're feeling anxiety, when you're feeling depressed, uh, uh, or when you're feeling other uh, things that would lead to bad fruit, run to the tree of life. Run to who you are in Christ ask for peace ask for joy ask for goodness kindness patience all these things live inside of you in the form of the holy spirit joined with your spirit and you can have them anytime you want um i know one thing that happened to me after i i i did if you've heard my testimony uh finally give up and give my life totally to christ is i felt that peace again uh and i never wanted to go back to feeling the anxiety and the fear that i lived in before uh and so I went a few days and, and, I, and I just lived in that peace and that joy, but eventually I started feeling anxious and even fearful again, but I knew that I could have it. Uh, I knew that I could have peace. I knew that I could live in joy. Uh, and so I asked for it and, and I just kept asking for it and asking for it until I got it. Uh, and, and it wasn't that it was outside of me, it's where I was going. I was going back to my old uh, habits and ways of dealing with life. Uh, without even really realizing it. it's a thought price process it's a mindset you know um and so i'd ask for it i'd ask for peace until i got it again i asked for joy until i got it again and before i knew it i was living out of that place and that became my new normal uh instead of living out of a place of fear and anxiety so i'd encourage you to listen to your heart <laughs> listen to the feelings in your heart and i would encourage you to live out of who christ says you are to live out of uh, the seeds of peace, the seeds of joy, the seeds of patience, the seeds of kindness and goodness and faithfulness. I encourage you to live out of those so that you can bear the fruit for others to eat.
that are of the same nature. So anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to throw up all the verses on here to help you dig deeper into this. Uh, I love you guys. I pray that you have a good week. And thanks for listening. And if you guys have any questions or you want me to uh, uh, speak on a certain topic, I know someone asked me today to speak about marriage, and I'm going to be doing that. I just want to make sure that I, I really... Uh, uh, research the thing that God has been talking to me about and that really well because I know those are really important topics uh, and God's been doing a lot in my marriage and so uh, uh, I might have my wife come on if she wants to and talk about that too but I will be doing probably a series on, on marriage as well but if you guys have other topics you want me to talk about that would be really cool uh, questions post them I know you guys do and just thanks for listening have a great week I love you guys remember that Jesus loves you and you can live out of who he is in you through you, for you, to others. Have a great week. Bye.